What's good with a YouTube man? It's your boy Legit A. Hey, I just gotta. I don't know why I don't get notifications for this type of stuff, but 2K just dropped the video 20 minutes ago, man. Let's what's see up, what, everyone? what's good with the affiliations in this game. What's up, everyone? Chris Manning you know, yeah. here, host of 2K TV and your affiliation leader for Elite. One of two affiliations Elite. that are going head to head in NBA 2K24. Do you know who it is? It's your boy Shake here, representing affiliation Rise. Always good to see you, Shake. Always Absolutely. good to see you. You'll get to choose which affiliation yeah, you join. In whoa, 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 whoa. It's good to see you. All right, so for Rise Affiliation, you can elevate your team, earn unique gameplay rewards towards finishing and playmaking. Addition to the open man has never been so worth it. And you get a brand new heat check gameplay boost. Get rewarded for your hot hand from the perimeter after knocking down some outside shots. Uh, finishing boost and playmaking boost. Okay, so if you go to Rise, you get finishing and playmaking. If you go to Elite, you get defense and shooting. We definitely going to Elite, baby. You know what I'm saying? Being the center, the goaded center that I am. Popping center. I'm like a MB type of player on my build. That's what I'm aiming for. Just a dominant inside center that can shoot a little bit. Um, We get defense and shooting. Exactly what I like. I need those boosts. And a brand brand new two-way tenacity gameplay boost. Wait, hold on. Let's read the description. Want the ball in your hands for the last shot? Elite is for you. I'm the type of nigga with the money on the line. I want it in my hands, man. You feel me? Earn unique gameplay boost towards defense and shooting. Making big plays on both ends. Make a big play on one end of the floor and earn yourself a boost for the next possession. Going the other way. The ultimate two-way player. Earn a permanent boost to your defense attributes. DPOY, here you come. So like a Jaron Jackson type of build. That's what I'm aiming for in 2K24. Either Jaron Jackson, Embiid, Carl Anthony Town. Like I just want to resemble a two-way player that can low-key shoot but is great at defense. Because defense wins championships, you feel me? But um, earn a permanent boost to your shooting. Yeah, yeah, we definitely going to elite, man. Hey, like this if you're going to elite. Comment if you're going to rise. You'll get to choose which affiliation you join in NBA 2K. And Elite just looks better, bro. Like the Galaxy theme and over the little beach or whatever. But hopefully if you're from Elite, you can still play in the Rise Parks. You feel me? 24. And prizes are on the line for the winning affiliations each season. Okay. You get a Season 1 T, LeBron James, uh, XP tokens, XP coins. My What the fuck? What's up, everyone? Oh, yeah. We're just going to edit that out. We're going to edit that part out. You to another level. Hence, my affili affiliations each season. All right. Two tokens, two ascension picks. Which? So you get two per? I'm confused. Is this for buying the battle pass or is this for being in a season? I guess elite is blue and the rise is red or whatever it's called. Um, okay. Season. So you'll want to choose wisely. We'll start with my affiliation. But you say you want to choose wisely. So you'll want to. I feel like the red people got better picks, but blue is just, elite is just better. Choose wisely. We'll start with my affiliation, elite. We're focused on defense and shooting. So not only do we have limitless range, but we lock down on defense. Plus, who doesn't love hooping on these beautiful neon lights? And check this out. Our courts will actually elevate you to another level. Mm -hmm. that you levitate up. You don't got that, man. So find me in the city in NBA 2K24 and lace them up for elite. Nah, nah, nah. Rise is where it's at. We're focused on finishing and playmaking. We make the highlight reels in the city. As your leader for Rise in NBA 2K24, not only are we winning this rivalry against my good friend LD and Elite, but we're also going to be balling in style. Once you see our Wait, beautiful let me see the part. Lee, but we're also going to... Oh, so y'all want to do this again where the courts are all the way across the kilometers from each other, bro. Okay, the twos courts are the only three and they're all near each other. Then there's one middle big court. I don't like how you have to run all the way around. Like, just put them all closer, bro. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Gonna be balling uh, what y'all think of the uh, Rise Park, man? Style. Once you see our beautiful Atlantis-themed courts, you'll never look back. And we even have an underwater court to hoop on that's unlike anything you've ever seen. This time, it's true. This is where the best. This hoop time is true. Oh yeah, y'all yeah, remember that, Ronnie? You guys are gonna be able to hoop underwater and buy Yeezys in the game. I remember that capping ass shit, man. This time, it's true. 
This is where the best hoop action will always be going down in the city. So go find me in NBA 2K24 and get ready to rise up to the competition. So the choice is yours, but here's where it gets real. Each affiliation has its own rep. Yes, you heard us correctly. Huh? Rep is back. And we all know that bragging rights are important in the 2K community. And in NBA 2K24, your status as the greatest player in the city is on the line. Grind your way to becoming one of the best players in the city and reach the top 10 tier. And what's even better is your rep doesn't reset at the season's end. You join an affiliation, start at rookie one rep level, and grind your way up the ladder all year long. Team Elite. Nah, rise. <laughs> Next, let's talk about badges. Upgrading your badges in NBA 2K24 is all based on how you play. For example, if you have the corner specialist badge and you're dropping threes from the corner and getting those greens, your badge Ooh, progress gameplay. will be corner specialist badge and you're dropping threes from the corner and getting those Wow, okay. Nah, okay. I could definitely see myself being pick and pop and hitting greens from that corner and shit. I like it, man. But I want to see what the elite twos course looks like. I see the little shark uh, statue in the back. Uh, pants. Greens, your badge progress will actually upgrade over time. But one thing that's important to remember about badges in my career and in the city is that you have to continue to use them. Because if you deviate from your current play style and you stop using the badge as often as you used to, your badge may regress. Oh dang, now that is so bad. What if one game, like a few games gonna require you to not have to score all the points, you know what I'm saying? One game you guard, like if you're a center, this is from my perspective, you're gonna not always be able to take over. Still, I'm gonna be always grabbing rebounds and um, you know what I'm saying, setting screens and stuff, but sometimes I'm not gonna be shooting, I'm gonna be cutting to the paint, picking, popping, picking, rolling, like it, it differs, man. So you really wanna make sure that you build a player that can complement your play style. Now, it's time to get out there and play to your strengths. Should we uh, tell them about street ball too? Oh, oh yeah, 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 do that, do that. So check this out. If you need more takeover perks for your my player and part games, then you can take your game to the streets. The new single player side quests in the city bring the street ball experience to life. Shake, let them know, man. There are three courts in the city that have unique court bosses and teams to defeat. Each court comes with its own environment filled with MCs, DJs, and a rowdy courtside crowd. With its own progression system, there are several takeover perks for you to unlock for your my player. And don't sleep on the competition because if you don't ball out, fans will rush the court and shut it down. Oh, NBA 2K24 we gonna be like is to have all to... Ooh, about I like that animation. Down. Too little animation. NBA 2K24 is all about communities and representing your player. So squat up a crossplay, grab a cold drink, and we'll see you on the courts. Your time has come, baller. Now I ask you this, who will you choose? Oh man, oh man, oh man. That was actually not too bad. Still is not getting me excited at all. The well, only issue about these affiliations is that, in, in my opinion, the elite's court blows rise out of the park. Hopefully there will be an incentive to join the rise because I got a feeling majority of people have already decided to join the elite and the only way affiliations will be competitive is if they are balanced. Yeah, not only does elite look better, but it has better perks, defense and shooting. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, I, I don't really know how to feel about this. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about the new parks, the new, the what affiliation you going to be choosing. And everything like that in the comments down below, man. Appreciate y'all boys for watching. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Um. Ow.